and see. Yeah, hi all and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all fine. <laughs> yeah, last time I have already done a video um, on how to replace a fan for, let's say, a power supply. So the thing you should know about power supplies is that when you just start your computer fresh, the power supply is cold and so the fan gonna turn very slow. So the power supplies, they start to work with about 3.3 or 3.5 volts, okay? And that's the thing I just want to explain you and this is also the reason why I do this video because I had uh, let's say a fan which was turning with about 2000 runs per minute I have done already a video about that but uh, this guy was still too loud because it was of course turning very very fast <laughs> so but yeah now I found really great fans this are here turning with about 1500 runs per minute and I would not go lower okay it just recommend to use minimum 1500 runs per minute because all the rest you can just forget and your power supply may be cold to run too hot okay so that's why you should just know about that and that's like i told the reason why i do this video so here i got a be quiet fan which is from silent wings 3 uh, I was very happy with this guy, but then I saw that my power supply was not able to turn it when I just start the computer. I saw that sometimes the fan was not turning, and that means that he just needs more start voltage, okay? So I got you now one from Purwings 2, but this is this guy here with 1500 watts per minute, okay? So this one here is able to turn with very low start voltage, okay? And that's the problem that my power supply had. Let's say, no, this is not the problem from my power supply. It's more the problem from this guy here because <laughs> the, yeah, let's say Silent Wings 3 just needs more power. Okay, the start voltage. I'm here now as well with some cheapy ones, very old ones here. They are just turning with about 900 runs per minute, but I cannot recommend to use slow fans for your power supply because sometimes your power supply will just need more airflow and more air otherwise it will run hot of course it conforms of course what you are doing on your computer but when you're running hardcore games or whatever then the power supply gonna get hotter and hotter and that's why uh, they need to turn a little bit faster but fans with about 900 or let's say 1000 runs per minute it's just not enough okay and that's why just use on the minimum 1500 runs per minute i have now found for myself out that this one's here just the best. Um, the other one with 2000 runs per minute was also lower as the standard one, but it was still too fast. <laughs> so now I'm here just to talk about that. And I want also just to give you some information and I will just explain you um, what is, let's say, important to know. And that's why I'm doing this video for you guys. If you just want to replace a fan for your power supply, then you should know about that, that some fans, they just need more start voltage. And this is, yeah, not recommend because the power supply, when it just gets started, they will just begin with about, yeah, let's say very low energy, about 3 or 3.2 volts, 3.3 volts. And that's why I was, you know, just testing around for myself. And now you know uh, which fan you probably called by, okay? So that's why I can really recommend Pro Wings 2. It's really great because this one here is beginning to turn with very low voltage, okay? So now I'm going to pass my smartphone to my daughter, Diana. Hello, Diana. Hi. How are you? I'm good. <laughs> Great, so here you can see now I got um, the one which is with 1500 runs per minute. This is the Pool Rings, and the other one, like I told, is the Silent Wings 3. Okay, let's say this is one of the newest one. Okay, now I'm gonna just put this here on the table. Maybe I'm gonna just turn it around, and then I'm gonna give him now, like you can see here, 3.3 volts. Okay, 3.3 volts on the Silent wings three and then we're gonna test it if this guy gonna turn or not okay so here you can see also here this is the symbol for minus black and the next one is plus okay here is minus here is plus so now let's just check it out i'm gonna hold minus on minus plus on plus can you see something not okay and here we go nothing you can see the fan is just not turning okay again all right i'm gonna now give him about four or let's say 
three dot let's let's go for four volts for yeah four volts okay now again here and let's just check it out ah he was moving a little bit yeah oh, come on come on yeah it's hard for him but it's turning so again here let's go let's say for about 3.5 okay some psus they start with about 3.3 .3 volts let's do here 3.5 yeah 3.5 volts let's see nothing okay nothing 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 and that's why let's go again let's say we're gonna do 3.8 volts and 3.9 3.8 yeah it's okay so here again a little bit so yeah and 3.8 volts nothing 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 happens okay here again four volts let's do 4.2 4.3 come on doesn't matter 4.2 yeah okay 4.2 volts and now it should turn here we go okay without problem so this is the start energy the start power that this guy needs 4.2 or oh yeah on the minimum 4 volts otherwise it will not begin to turn okay and that was the problem for my power supply because my power supply the start energy when the power supply is cold is about 3.3 .3 volts so now i'm gonna just to this guy here and we're gonna go here again let's say to 3.3 .3 volts one two three uh, three 3.3 okay now let's test this guy here again black on black red on red take a look it's turning okay so this guy here is beginning to turn with very very low voltage let's go now for three volts three okay let's try three volts a little bit like that yeah sorry for the camera my camera assistant is uh, yeah newbie let's say like that that she's doing it good three volts it's turning <laughs> okay wow poor rings 2 has better start voltage as silent wings okay so um let's try 2.8 yeah 2.7 2.8 doesn't matter 2.7 2.8 okay let's try this out to find out wow still turning with 2.8 volts look on the voltage there yeah 2.8 look to the fan okay turning let's do 2.5 <laughs> i think not but i'm gonna try 2.1 volts. 2.4 2.5 yeah it's okay game over nothing <laughs> okay so 2.5 is just not enough 2.6 gonna try 2.6 ah yeah wow what a great fan okay so this was now just to explain you why this is important to take a look um how much start voltage it just needs okay so poor wings 2 i can recommend to the guy with 1500 rounds per minute um silent wings 3 yeah the quality is not bad but nothing for let's say power supplies okay i got you now a very cheap one let's take this guy here i'm gonna try that on this guy here this is a very slow one i think it has just about 1000 rounds per minute um so here minus we are still on 2.8 volts guys nothing the red leds are working somehow <laughs> but nothing happens so here okay 
let's go to 3 volts or 3.2 I'm on 3.2 right now 3.2 volts ah uh, yeah still not enough for this guy 3. Dot, yeah let's 3.6 should work now not not working <laughs> okay 3.6 volt let's take the same one but just in blue this guy is just with blue LEDs ah this one is working okay and that's what I just wanted to explain you guys if your power supply is really running too loud then it's because your power supply gets really hot so take care also inside your computer maybe the airflow is just bad um, but yeah I know that uh, power supply sometimes they are just too loud and uh, the fans that are inside are really just cheap made and that's why they are really loud but like I told um, if you want to replace a fan on your power supply first thing you need to know is take care because power supplies are danger um, you should uh, just let yeah just wait about one or two hours before you open your power supply and you should discharge it before you open it and don't touch the electronics inside there because you're gonna maybe get a shock <laughs> so and that's why um yeah i think this video is now um yeah over uh, like you see i was now soldering again uh the cable for my uh, power supply which is this one here you can see this is just a different cable and uh, i have to solder with it you can of course go here and uh, take easily the um, let's say sticker here out okay go here inside and then you're gonna be able to yeah nice and sexy see that no one gonna notice it okay solder the cables you get here also some symbols like plus and minus or minus and then you just put the sticker back and then you are good to go and that's the way you should do it okay so yeah i hope you guys uh, like this video i'm finished now and this was just the most important stuff that you should know about fans for power supplies this is just a video about that because um this is just missing in all my videos <laughs> and this is also good for some newbies and now you're going to be able uh, to replace your fan for your power supply and like i told do not go under 1500 okay because this is the minimum and i recommend about 1800 uh, or 1500 like in this case but do not go lower than 1000 500 okay all right guys this was all for me if you have some questions just leave me a comment thumbs up subscribe do not forget uh, a lot thanks to my daughter diana <laughs> because she was the camera assistant and i hope you are happy with this video so nothing professional but uh, yeah all about the best <laughs> okay guys um, see you soon that was all for me and see in the place to be and see in the place to be and see